So I have the very lovely celebrity Barbara Lisa B. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. No problem. So I want to, for, for people that are not familiar with you, um, can you sort of introduce who you are? Well, I am a celebrity barber, and I am, actually we're on the set right now where I work. I work on the movie sets and television sets, Cutting Hair. And I've been doing this for a little over 15 years, maybe almost 20 years. So who have, um, who are some of the, some of your clients that you've done or have done, do on a regular basis? Well, Martin Lawrence actually got me into the union. My first movie was Bad Boys 2, and I was his personal barber, and I cut Cedric, Akon, The Game, Ray J., Mike Epps, The Rock, um, it's a long list. Well, before you were doing celebrities, how did you start even, I guess, even being a barber? I started, I actually, um, this is a, a long story, but um, I got caught up in the street life real young. I dropped out of school at uh, around 16 and I got caught up with Doughboys and um, I love the street life and I got caught up in that. Um, with my kid's father and I eventually went to beauty school to open a, a beauty salon because back then it was kind of the thing Doughboys and hairstylists. It was kind of like, I don't know why, but I opened a salon just because of that and um, ended up being physically abused by him and ended up homeless and broke and a lot of issues that I went through. But um, the Clippers saved my life. I ended up self-teaching myself how to barber um, and I was able to just really build a life off of those clippers. I started on Crenshaw and 54th in the hood, and it was a great training ground for me because as a female and a girly girl, I'm not a, I'm not a boy, I'm a girly girl. You, I went through a lot, and back then you have to realize it wasn't now when it's kind of cute to be a barber. Back then I really think I paved the way in the hood for female barbers because I went through like, bitch and ho oh, and fuck you and I'm not paid. I went through so much and you can't cry. You can't be a crybaby. You can't be in your feelings. Um, you got to be careful how you snap back because you will get slapped. Like I, I learned, I learned a lot. So it really helped me starting in that to where I ended up going on um, opening my own barber shop because I built a good clientele on La Brea in Inglewood. I had a couple of shops. Um, in LA and then I ended up cutting Martin. Word got around and Martin was like, I want to take you to Miami, do you want to go? And I was like, okay. I wasn't even really trying to get on the sets or in the union, but I ended up just getting in it like that. And from there, once you cut one, it's kind of a small circle and they all kind of, oh, who's that? Oh, can just she do this? Oh, is she available? And so it kind of just really spun really out for me, I'd say from the hood to Hollywood. Literally. So I was gonna. That was gonna be my next question. I was gonna ask, how did you start doing celebrity? So your first. So how did you meet? I guess how did you connect? Get connected with Martin Lawrence. I got connected to Martin through another barber. Um, it's a very small circle, and when you're um, when you're on your on your job, like something about female barbers, we're a little bit more. I want to say about our business. For some reason guy barbers always this their hustle. They're the barber, and they're like like an actor and a, and a, you know, they have like all these other things where female barbers are pretty much just our career and we put so much into it. And so I was really dedicated. I really love what I do. I, I love being around men. Um, and I've done all this on my feet. I didn't do it on my back. I didn't do it like I actually, I tell everybody it's not because, I don't, can I cuss? Yeah, you already, you already did it. Already did. <laughs> I have a bad mouth. I'm so sorry. You're fine. Go ahead. Um, I say it's, it's actually not who I fucked is because I didn't fuck. I did everything on my on my feet and I think that that's what built a great reputation for me and that's why the guys really come out and support me because they really look at me and be like yes Lisa you you deserve that like you solid and so it's it's done me well it's done me well so let's talk about uh LA hair how did you get involved and in, since you're the, the you're one of the new cast members how did you get involved with that show well, it actually came from um, We TV, and I'm, I love We TV. I'm, I was out pitching my show, which is Cats and Dogs. I have an all-female barbershop show um, where I take the girls out the hood, kind of where I came from. And it's not about being a celebrity barber. It's about really teaching the young girls, like, even against bad decisions that you might make or not having anything or coming from nothing that you could still win in life doing it the right way you don't have to sell your soul trying to buy that dream you can really do it that how the girls and the guys that i came up with it was a different kind of life you know you really did it there were two type of girls and that was it and it was a fine line not a fine line a hard line between the type of girl you were and i feel like i want to reach back and help as many young girls that i can and show them like you could do that it's not it's not impossible and it's a it's a harder role but it, it's 
consistency and last longer. And so the show that I'm doing is about that. So I was pitching all this to WeTV and VH1. We went to different things and VH1 took hold of me, excuse me, and they were doing casting at that time for L.A. Hair. And so L.A. Hair, they were like, well, we have a great idea. Let's put her on the L.A. Hair. So why don't you go do this and we'll see how that works. So it's kind of like WeTV just have believed in me and have had that kind of, you know, yeah, we see the vision and she is like, you'll see, like, I am that girl. I am um, very complex. There's a lot of layers to me. Um, I tell everybody uh, Lisa B is the girl on set that runs all the sets and all the celebrities. And Lily is that 5150. I'm a little, you know, a little. I got residue from my life. And I tell everybody, just leave me alone. I, I'm not a bully. I don't, I, I'm really to myself and I really don't really vibe with people. I kind of fall back. But if you like with me, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. So there is there, there are two sides to you. There's the business side, and then there's the, like, I'm not really here for the games and the drama sort of thing, right? At all. At all. Like, I'm, like, not that girl. I'm, like, I have my fuses, like, this short. And then from everything I've been through in my life, it's, like, Shorter. burnt into the wax. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and I've, 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 heard, I've heard that you got into a little bit of a altercation or scuffle on the show. Is there any truth to that? Two. Oh, I just heard about one. Two. Was it with the same person? No. So the, you 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 um, experienced a little bit of drama. Well, you know, you're going to have to watch the show and tune in. But yes, um, this season is going to be a different kind of season. It's definitely not just about, you know, I don't know. I, I, it, they're a different breed on that show. I'm not that girl. I'm not, I don't come from that world. I come from like I just come from something different. So you're going to see those layers. You're going to see the layers to me. But, yes, I did get into um, physical altercation with two people. And it wasn't anything like I'm not a bully. Like I said, I'll pretty much tell you just don't fuck with me. Don't disrespect me and don't touch my shit. And we good. Okay. I mean, I think that's normal. And I think that everybody everybody I know is like, well, yeah, like what? And everybody on that show is like, oh, my God, you don't put your hands on anybody. Yeah, but shit ain't sweet either. So. I'm not gonna put my hands on you, but shit not sweet. So don't. Got it. Well, d well you you saw the show um, before air. Were you? I've never watched the show. I'm so sorry, but I think that that helped me because, and I didn't purposely after I got uh, cast for the show. I purposely didn't go back and watch it because I wanted to be fresh with what I was doing. I wanted to just be like not knowing and just go into it with a clear not having a preconceived of who this was and how they acted and who didn't like her and who didn't like her i just want to go in and really have a genuine you know jail